that I will spend the rest of my life in prison. John McAfee dead at 75, eccentric antivirus software pioneer hanged himself in jail cell after Spanish court approved his extradition to US on tax evasion charges. Welcome to the Dumb Dumb News channel, dedicated to reviewing news stories from around the world. Help me trigger the YouTube algorithm by pressing the thumbs up button, subscribing to my channel, leaving a comment, and sharing with someone you think would like this content. Sources will be linked in the description, so you can read the full details yourself. I remember reading an article in a magazine about him. A writer went down to Belize to interview him, and the article was filled with wild stories and his version of government happenings. I wish I still had access to that article so I could share it. It was probably about eight years ago, if anyone knows what article I'm talking about, or has access to any articles about him leave a link in the comments below. The Deep State is a conspiracy theory of, of uh, it's defined as the people within the US government and military who are in secret control of government policy. <laughs> secret? <laughs> Please, people. The deep state is those people within the U.S. government that are career employees that cannot be fired by people that we elect by the Congress or the President. Um, there are the FCC, the, uh, the CIA, the Securities and Exchange Commission, uh, the IRS. Are these people in control? Can they enact laws? Fuck yes! They're called regulations for every law that Congress passes, and we elect Congress to pass our laws. There are 20 regulations enacted by federal agencies that have far more impact on our lives than anything Congress can possibly pass. Is there a deep state? Yes! Uh, can we fire these people? No. Can presidents fire them? No. <laughs> it, it's designed that way so that political parties and political interests cannot affect the deep state. Do you understand the nightmare of our situation, people? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. It's not secret. It's as open as anything could be. In the past... Since 1975, 200,000 regulations have been passed by federal agencies, uh, encompassing 800,000 pages of fine print uh, people. It is no secret. It is as open as it can be. The deep state does control America. Wake up, people, please. God. Use some common fucking sense. Thank you. Uh, Mr. McCarthy, can you describe for us briefly um, your impressions of what happened to you when the GSU officers stormed into your home in Orange Rock on Monday morning? I am a 66-year-old man who would never expect 42 armed soldiers and police to storm into his property in, in riot gear. Um, it's never happened. I'm sure it will never happen again. Um, in fact, I've never had an encounter with the police that's on, on any negative level. Um, what happened was unconscionable, a shock to everybody involved. And it's not just to me, it's to my employees and friends who were present, to the two contractors who just happened to show up to do work that day, who were just arrested and kept in handcuffs for 14 hours like everybody else. I feel sorry for them and they need redress. They need to get justice here. Um, but that doesn't mean that you give up hope on Belize, you'll still remain oh, in I, Belize and I, 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 I continue what you do in Belize. I, I love Belize and I have, I have no um, intention of giving up on Belize in any way whatsoever. In fact, my American friends have all insisted that I call the American press. If I do that and say something like, this happened to me, you know it can happen to you, then there won't be any Americans visiting us. Um, and I'm refusing to do it because of that. Right, it, it, it might get these politicians replaced, but it's not going to help me or you or the country. So I am not doing that, whereas I could very easily do so. I, I, I love this country and I think there's hope for it, but there is a serious problem here that has to be fixed up. It has to be fixed. If I am extradited, 
It is certain that I will spend the rest of my life in prison. Because the United States wants to use me as an example. In my opinion, the guy was brilliant, used his talent to create a highly successful business that is still around today. I think that the money fueled his drug and alcohol cravings. When some people come into lots of money, power and information, they don't always fall into line with big authority types. I'd like to think that his software got him an audience with highly powerful people, and he learned to connect the dots on lots of information that he probably shouldn't have known. He probably pissed off some powerful people, and that is why he became a wanted man in the US. I didn't know him personally, but as I say to anyone that has passed, let them rest in peace. Those are my thoughts, what are yours? Leave them in the comments below, please share this video for education and awareness, for the Dumb Dumb News channel, I'm Dumb Dumb.